Hi guys, my name is David Benlin. You may know me as Puffsies. Thanks for having me on. First topic at hand, Save the Kids Token update. A little update from last week. Turns out everything we were saying was true. Yeah, I mean, I watched, uh, I watched Tigo's video a few days ago and brought me to tears for sure, seeing how he felt his side of the story. I mean, it's been hard to think about, you know, how they were treated, but I'm happy to see if they're finally making statements. The community's on their side. Yeah, it was great to hear from Frazier as well, hear the truth about what actually happened from the horse's mouth. It's, uh, it's crazy that people have been listening to, you know, all the news stations that have been talking about it, things like drama alert, because negativity sells. We're not here to sell negativity. We're here to bring positive energy to our listeners' minds and help them become more attuned with everything that's happening in the world and make them happier. So with that said, probably hop into the next update on the COVID-19 pandemic. Since our last podcast, a lot has happened. Um, the biggest news is that the, uh, the FDA has officially approved of the Pfizer vaccine. So yep. it's the first FDA approved COVID vaccine. I mean, I'm happy that I'm Pfizer gang. I mean, this is just a huge dub for Pfizer gang. In other news, Faye Santana was recently fully vaccinated, which I think is fucking awesome. Fat people die from COVID, and I wouldn't want to see Santana running around unvaccinated. And uh, rest assured, everybody, if uh, if there are more breaking updates to the COVID-19 pandemic or more information shared on the Save the Kids token situation, we'll be sure to update you guys on that in future episodes. So I think now would be a pretty dope time to talk about six foods that help with anxiety. Just a fun little topic I thought we'd throw on here. Medication can only go so far. I know a lot of people take medication they still don't feel good afterwards but this is something else you can do to help make sure you are less anxious and happier and more aligned with your inner self medication alone isn't always enough it's really important you watch your diet watch what you eat because you are what you eat and the first superfood that helps with anxiety would be avocados avocados are packed with vitamin a and b which is vital for a healthy brain and nerve cells. The next time you start feeling anxious, blend some avocados with some low-fat milk and a ripe banana to make a healthy and soothing smoothie. We all know the healing powers of avocado. It's, it's not called the superfood for nothing, but some that some people may not know about actually, cashews. So cashew nuts are a delicious and effective snack to fight against anxiety. Research has actually shown that two handfuls are equal to a dose of Prozac. The reason for this is because they're filled with tritophan, the precursor for reduction for serotonin, which is a feel-good hormone. It also has like a lot of mag- magnesium, and the body requires that for a healthy nervous system. Just, uh, I mean, if you have some cashews, your morning breakfast with your oatmeal or your cereal, and snack on them in between meals, you're going to be feeling a lot better. The next superfood isn't really a food, but it's a, it's a beverage, which is milk. A warm glass of milk before bedtime is a tried and tested routine from childhood. It can help with nerves, insomnia, and even fidgeting. Milk is rich in protein and calcium and vitamin B12. It also contains vitamin B2 and potassium, which lowers the blood pressure and can make you feel calm and relaxed. The potassium can also help relax stiff muscles that are caused by stress. Our next food that's scientifically proven to help with anxiety is actually oranges. Um, so oranges are packed with vitamin C, which is known to lower your cortisol, which is the stress hormone, and lower your blood pressure. We all know that a high blood pressure leads to anxiety attacks. They can prevent you from feeling anxious, so I mean, just grab an orange and eat a whole. You can also go for orange juice, but make sure it's freshly squeezed and sugar-free. Even the scent of oranges alone can make you feel calmer alongside just seeing the color orange. The next superfood would be blueberries. Blueberries aren't just delicious fruits to put in smoothies and desserts. They contain vitamin C and antioxidants, both of which can relieve stress and anxiety. They have mild sedating abilities to repair your cells from stress and damage. They are great to eat by themselves, but also can make a tasty addition to a bowl of cereal or a cup of yogurt. You know what blueberries also go really good with? What's that? The next food on our list of foods that are scientifically dark chocolate. I mean, everybody knows that chocolate just makes people happy when they eat it. There's a reason why so many people are chocoholics, as they say. Dark chocolate specifically doesn't have any added sugar, so it's a great option for people with anxiety. It reduces the production of cortisol, so there's also compounds present in dark chocolate that can improve your mood. Very rich in antioxidants, and reduces your blood pressure on top of all that. 
So next time you're at the grocery store, be sure to pick up at least one of these superfoods. I mean, optimally you get all of them. I'm sure, uh... I'm Depends sure how anxious you are. If you're really anxious, you gotta get all of them. So, we have some interview questions here that we're just gonna, we're just gonna ask him. Get to know Popsies a little bit better. I mean, I know a lot of you know him for being the incredibly talented musician, formerly part of the band Blush. But, uh, you guys don't know him beyond that, so... All right, uh, right off the bat, I kind of asked him, man, how'd you get the name Puffsies? You know, that's funny. I basically stole my friend's name. He's, his name was Tim, Tim Zies. I just put put the P in there and history was made. No, you were in the popular Dual Taj Abysses, correct? That is correct. Now, is it true the Abysses Closer was set up? Next question. So what was it like being in Zork? You know, I was pretty glad I got in. Yeah, it was all right. I ended up leaving. Uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes you gotta, you know, take take life by the by the reins and you know do something else. So you leave Sword Clan Gaming. On the topic of that, then, I mean, we haven't heard too much from you recently. I mean, everyone thought you went AWOL for a minute. Let's uh, let's hear what Puffsies has been uh, doing with his life. How's everything been? What have you been working on? Well, funny you should ask that, Cactus Cooler, because I do in fact have some solo music coming up. Uh, the fans can expect the first single out on September 14th. This is the first, uh, first any kind of a sort of announcement. I, I figured I'd save it for the uh, podcast here. Mark your guys' calendars, because I know here at the Positive Energy Podcast, we're probably going to do a listening party for uh, Puffsy's first hit single that's coming out. If you guys want to join us, let us know. So yeah, that's that's what I got coming up. Um, that's what I got to plug. It's nice to see that you're making something of yourself. I mean, I know you were part of Sore Gaming. That's one of the coolest, most badass gaming organizations there is. And you just up and left. So, I mean, yeah, you know, sometimes you gotta you know you gotta stick it to the man. All right. Well, I think that about wraps up the uh, the question portion of this. Thank you so much, Puffsies, for uh, for answering those very uh, upfront, honestly. You know, I, I couldn't be happier to be here, Cactus Cooler and the Healer. Yeah, we can just dive into our next topic. Yeah, so the uh, Phase Clan and McDonald's collab. What do you think of that? What do I think of it? I think it's fucking badass. Fuck, man. Santana was just downing fries. And I'm like, this is fucking awesome. Playing a fucking Warzone inside of McDonald's. Yeah, fucking badass. Know. Where do you find time to eat your uh, superfoods to help with anxiety? Typically in between. I mean, I said three, like three to five times a week. I go to McDonald's, so that's only that's only what four or five, three to five meals out of the 15, 20 I eat a week. Is um, there going to be a special Phase Clan meal or what? Uh, Hopefully. Nothing's been, nothing's been announced yet, but we're definitely keeping our eyes. Open. I'm waiting for that Santana meal. Yeah, let's, uh, let's move on to, personally, my favorite topic that we have scheduled to talk about today. The Call of Duty Vanguard trailer got released, and um, I don't know about you guys, but that video game looks badass. Yeah, I already have it pre-ordered for both consoles. Yeah, I got a, I got the hookup at my local mom and pop shop, get it a few days early, I shot them a little bit extra money, and they're gonna hook me up. Yeah, I also have a source on Craigslist who's going to sell me a game a few days early. Looking forward to that. Yeah, definitely excited. Of course, we can't reveal our sources. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been getting, I've been getting all the cuts early every year. And... Last ten years, I would say, I've been getting Call of Duty early. What do you think of the new Call of Duty Vanguard trailer posters? I'm really excited to see what you know the studio can bring to the game this year. You know, it's always COD this, COD that. I'm ready for Vanguard. When Sledgehammer Games is involved, you can't lose, man. Those guys always make a badass Call of Duty. And I can't wait to dive into that campaign. Alright, so that, that about covers it for the Vanguard trailer. I mean, we'll have a lot more to say about it when we get it a few days early. Give you guys all the uh, insider information before it comes out. Make sure that it's the game for you. Although we're sure it's going to be. It looks badass. Let's get on to, uh, actually, one of our more important topics today. Rowdy Rogan recently got verified on Instagram. 
I thought it was fucking awesome. I've been following Rogan for uh, about a year now, and to see the little guy grow to what he's become today, it's just fucking awesome. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't even think it's very respectful to call him the little guy. I know he's young, but his platform is huge. I'm really happy for the little guy. I think he really deserves it. I think he puts it all into into his game, into his craft. Couldn't agree more. I mean, I definitely think that uh, Rogan's success was all because of him. There are no outside, you know, motivators or anything that helped him get to the point where he is, I think. I mean, the six-year-old grinded himself. He made his own videos. He made his own content. And it's crazy to see. I'm excited to see what, uh, what he'll be doing when he hits double digits. You want to talk about Donda? So, if you guys have been living under a rock, Kanye West recently released his newest album entitled Donda. And if you haven't listened to it yet, it's fucking badass. No skips. No skips. It was everything we expected it to be and more. If you haven't listened to Donda yet, definitely encourage you to go do so. And definitely buy it on vinyl. Yeah, I mean, Kanye West is one of those people who works day in and day out to deliver us quality music. So to see him put this much time and effort into Donda, and it be the absolute banger that it is, kind of badass. With that being said, I think it's time to talk about a more somber topic, which would be what's going on in Afghanistan right now. I agree, Billy, this topic is very somber, but we do need to bring attention to it. To see what's going on with the whole Taliban situation in Afghanistan is just despicable. It's real fucked up. And my prayers go out to everyone dealing with it right now. Everyone involved in the Afghanistan situation, our hearts, uh, our hearts are with you. All right, before we move on to the next topic, I, uh, I think that we're actually going to take a little, a little bit of time after talking about some very serious things to guide you guys in some meditation. Um, I know a lot of people listen to this podcast because you're feeling down or anxious and, you know, our number one goal is to make sure that you're not feeling like that. So the healer himself is actually going to guide you guys in a meditation session right now. Let us begin. I want everyone right now sitting in their DX racers to close your eyes and relax. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Relax your fingertips and your toes. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. No pausing between inhalation and exhalation. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Go with the flow of the breath. Just breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Ten more. Breathe in, breathe out. 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 Breathe in, breathe 
breath in and hold for 15 seconds. up this round. And that guided session was truly enlightening. Anxiety healer, thank you for that. You're welcome. I hope everyone's feeling nice and relaxed after that session and is ready to tackle some more topics. What's the next topic? All right, the next topic is you muting your mic. Let's talk about the best goddamns. So this is just a fun topic that was suggested by one of our viewers. Yeah, it was suggested by a uh, by Twitter user at RippinWhips22. That is at R I P P I N L I P S 22, also known as Genesis Glads the Fish. Uh, thank you again for this question, and we're happy to have it as a subject in our episode. I'll get us started on the current best con teams. I mean, uh, we could start it. We should probably start at number five, right, Billy? I think that's the way to do it, for sure. In, in a particular order. order. Yeah, so these are in a particular order. Um, honorable mention goes out to Genesis. Uh, they barely did not make the list. They were number six, but definitely didn't have the talent to put themselves above the, the top five that we have already. So I'll get it started. Fifth best team right now is Raw Sniping. That's at Raw S-N-I-P-I-N. Not much to say about this team. You got some absolute goats in here. You got Paris, everybody knows him. If you don't mind your eardrums being blown out uh, while you're watching some badass COD carnage happening, definitely the team for you. Uh, I love how they have yeah, they, you know, yeah, blend new metal with all kinds of wacky, wacky stuff. Uh, what is that one? Uh, I'm a big fan of that Absolutum in Terror. That's a, yeah, some really like, crazy on, names for their team titles. Come on. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You're you're telling me it's like I'm about to summon some kind of magician or something out of the ground. Next up on the list would be Parallel. Team underscore Parallel on Twitter. Super badass team. They only recently came onto my radar. It's a great fucking team. Great videos. Big shout out to Charles. Great roster. Huge shout out to uh, Parallel Potter as well. Always killing it with the trick shots. Really creative. Always spreading positive energy. I would love to get that guy on the podcast one day. Seeing the energy he brings and the, the crazy zany reactions he has to his trick shots brings a smile to my face. Alright, well, moving on to the third current best con team. We're about halfway through the list now. We have 23 crowns. Again, another team. They just recently hopped up on everybody's radar. But, uh, Faze Fumaj, he's always been a big icon in the community. One of the pillars, if you ask me, he's uh, he's made many famous montages. I mean, his montages are so good that you might as well call them movies. And if he's involved, I want whatever it is. Uh, Puffsies, we're actually going to let you name this uh, second best current COD team right now. Oh yeah, it looks like I've got the list. And for the number two COD team, uh, currently, it turns out we got PZ. Yeah, I mean, PZ is incredible, great team. Uh, they're probably my, my current favorite team, although the talent in the number one spot is undeniable. My favorite member of PZ is definitely PZ Murphs. On top of being just an absolute badass on the sticks, the guy's friggin' hilarious. <laughs> Basically, to back up what you said, PZ Murphs is a fucking certified badass, and if he's not on your radar, he's gonna be on there soon, because I think he's got a World of Wartage in the works, if I'm not mistaken. That's gonna be Definitely. fucking badass. Definitely someone I can see making a long run in the Phase 5 challenge next time that's around. Um, I think the content he brings and the personality he has is unrivaled. And I think that could be said about every member in PZ.
coming in at the number one spot, we got Claw Gaming. That's at underscore Claw Gaming. C L A W G A M I N G. Capital L. Because you know why that L is capital? Because you're taking the L if you get into a game with these guys. Like just a team of absolute badasses. Um, I wouldn't want to be caught dead on the other side of the scope of any of these players. Puffs, is there anything you want to say about Claw Gaming? Well, these guys just appeared on my radar. I'm really excited to see what they. Uh, going to do in the future. Moving on, we got our top five Call of Duty teams of all time list. This one uh, definitely required a few hours of making. We had to do a lot of research on it and make sure that our list is the definitive best. Um, again, this list, it's not opinion based. We've done the work, we've looked into it, we've done research. This is the objective five best Call of Duty teams of all time. Number five coming in, we got M48 3 your team is named after the most iconic sniper rifle in any COD game ever, you're already goaded. But the fact that this team had people like, had members like Predator in it, alongside just a bunch of other absolute badasses. Jewel? Hello? Hey man, I'm just saying, I'm just saying one of the names. They're all goaded. Not much more we can say about M48-3. Pussies, you have anything you want to, you have any opinions you want to share? I remember logging in back in the day. God 4, Headquarters, you name it. If you would come into a game, you'd see M4083, you just knew your ass was about to get kicked. Moving on to the number 4 slot. This is this one is actually a no-brainer at the 4 slot. We got Darth. Darth. Yeah, we got Darth sniping. Easily the best pure sniping team there was, and has ever been. Their montages speak for themselves. Darth Dana was always one of my favorite players. Darth Brody. The guy was dope as fuck. Coming in at number three, we got Dare Sniping. Yeah, Dare's been one of those teams that's been on everybody's radar for years. I mean, they've had some absolute sickos. I know, my favorite Dare member of all time, definitely Dare Para. Next up on the list, we have Soar Sniping. Funnily enough, we got a member of Soar in the call right now. Former member of Soar. Yeah. Style? Iconic. They always have the dopest fucking edits. Their editors were cracked. And moving on to the number one spot, I mean, we don't even need to talk about this one, right? Unless you live under a fucking rock. It's fucking FaZe Clan! The best of the best, and it's not even close. With that being said, please leave your top five in the comments below. We'd love to hear it. So I thought it'd be pretty fun if we uh, recommended some movies this week for our viewers to check out. I don't know about pussies, but Healer and I watch a fuck ton of movies. We've, uh, we've compiled a small list of films for you guys that we're going to tell you about, and feel free to go check out most of these, if not all of them, and leave us your opinions afterwards. So I guess we can just rattle them off. Yeah. First off, we got Project X. We got Godzilla vs. Kong. Ratatouille. Suicide Squad. White Chicks. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. Remember the Titans? Dead Poet Society. It? The Remake? Fight Club. Jaws 2. Black Panther. I want to take a moment to say rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. One of my favorite actors. I can't believe you're gone, man. Rest in power, brother. Take about a five second moment of silence for him. Alright, moving on, we got the Avengers. Get out. Not sure who we right? Titanic. Jackass. Jackass 2. Jackass 3. Saving Private Ryan. The Grudge. Meet the Spartans. Home Alone 5. Scary Movie 5. Up. Django Unchained. Epic Movie. Fifty First Dates. You Don't Mess With The Zohan. Borat. Tropic Thunder. Grown Ups. Radio. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. 
The Last Airbender. The Incredibles. The Ringer. The Incredibles 2. Spring Breakers. Dirty Grandpa. Zoolander. Forrest Gump. The Mummy. V for Vendetta. 300. Sharknado. Final Destination. Street Dreams. Paranormal Activity. My Kids. Finding Nemo. Finding Dory. The Social Network. Black Panther. Star Wars. The Matrix. Jurassic World. Like Mike 2. Guardians of the Galaxy. Back to the Future. Doctor Doolittle. Night at the Museum. School of Rock. Wolf of Wall Street. The Godfather. Jurassic Park. The Godfather 3. The Pineapple Express. The Hangover Part 2. Friday. Step Brothers. Mac and Devin go to high school. Anchorman. The Shining. Joe Dirt. The Longest Yard. Wedding Crashers. Uncut Gems. Super Size Me. Ant-Man. Field of Dreams. The Sandlot. The Mighty Ducks. Kicking and Screaming. Air Bud. Terminator. Rocky. The Day After Tomorrow. Marley and Me. Donnie Dark. Half Baked. Harold and Kumar in a White Castle. Saw. Hot Rod. Mean Girls. Grown Ups 2. The Other Guys. Super Bad. Mid 90s. The Dark Knight. 2012. Jaws. E.T. The Wizard of Oz. Ghostbusters. The Lion King. Inception. Lord of the Rings. 22 Jump Street. Inception. Lords of Dogtown. Rain Man. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Shaun of the Dead. And Joker. Yeah, so definitely make sure you check those movies out. All worth giving a watch. And let us know which one of the list is your favorite. I've actually got some movies to share if uh, you'd like to hear them. It's only a couple. Um, I'm just gonna spitball them out really quick. So, Shawshank Redemption, Requiem for a Dream, Fight Club, A Clockwork Orange, Twelve Angry Men, Pulp Fiction, Forrest Gump, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, The Matrix Part Two Reloaded, City of God, American Beauty, Seven, Silence of the Lambs. The Usual Suspects, Spirited Away, Interstellar, Psycho, The Departed, Whiplash, The Prestige, The Shining, Grave of the Fireflies, Black Swan, Reservoir Dogs, Amelie, To Kill a Mockingbird, Full Metal Jacket, Inglorious Bastards, Scarface, Fargo, No Country for Old Men, The Revenant, Spotlight, American History X, Memento, Apocalypse Now, Room, Dear Zachary, Enter the Void, The Fountain, Hannibal, Her, Ikiru, Snatch, Gone Girl, Red Dragon, V for Vendetta, The Fugitive 1993, Kill Bill Volume 1, Kill Bill Volume 2, 13 Assassins, American Psycho, Thieb, Ex Machina, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Prisoners, The Hunt, Nightcrawler, The Imitation Game, Drive, Zodiac, The Wailing, Taxi Driver, The Yellow Sea, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Boogie Nights, Leon the Professional, Into the Wild, the Truman Show, The Machinist, Peppermint Candy, There Will Be Blood, The Big Short, Mr. Robot, Train Spotting, Catch Me If You Can, Boyhood, Seven Samurai, The Killer, The Untouchables, A Brand New Life, and Blade Runner. It's a really solid list, man. 
Those are just some I've seen within the past two, three days. All right, so I think now would be a great time to jump into our shout outs of the week. All right, so the first shout out I want to give goes to at Webblante, also known as Genesis Wolf. His ad is at L-A-P-L-A-N-T-E. Really cool guy, definitely super involved with the Call of Duty community. If you fake clips, you're going to see a twin longer from this guy. Next shout out goes to Twitter user JQ. Really cool dude, great Call of Duty player. I've been friends with this guy for a few years now and he's always been a solid dude, always had my back. I feel honored to give him a shout out on the pod today. All right, so next shout out is going to go to at Pistons, that's at P-I-S-S-T-A-N-T-S. He is actually a member of one of the current five best Call of Duty teams, Ross Sniping. He's insanely good at Call of Duty and he's insanely funny. Up, we got Twitter user Potion Seller. That's at P O T L O N S E L L E R. What more can I say about him? He's a fucking badass. He's in parallel sniping. And the guy's always had my back. Fucking awesome player, great editor, even better guy. Definitely a uh, very important asset to any team. And you're lucky to have him. Alright, so my next shout out is actually going to go out to my favorite. Genesis member, that's Genesis Chocula, at C-H-O-C-A-B-U-N-G-A, at Chocabunga on Twitter. I first noticed who he was when I saw that he had the same avatar as me on Twitter. Since I saw that, I knew this guy was new. Huge shout out to Genesis Chocula. Please follow him. This next shout out is a doozy. It's fucking raw, L Max. If you don't follow this guy, you're fucking up. He is close acquaintances with FaZe Pomage, so you know this guy's BA. Can we just get a round of applause for him? Absolutely.
Thank you so much, LMAX, for being you. I hope you never stop. Yeah, it's good to know every time the Vegas Golden Knights win a hockey game, <laughs> I'm gonna see a gift of you on my timeline. I actually do really enjoy that. Wait, can I shout out myself again? Can we stop spitballing and wrap this up? All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the second episode. It means the world to us, but we're gonna wrap it up. And again, thank you so much, Pussies, for taking the time out of your very busy day to come join us on this podcast. Thank you, you guys. You know, I couldn't, it, I had the time in my life. It, it was just a pleasure being here. Hey, man, it was a pleasure to have you. Anytime you want to be back on the pod, hit us up. Hey, man, we'll do. You fucking killed it. Well, at any rate, it's your boy, the Anxiety Healer.